Hello, YouTube fam. I'm back <laughs> again. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new to my channel and you've one been wondering where I've been for the last nine months, well, for some reason, my phone, which I do all of my videos on, logged me out and I could not access back into my account for some reason. Um, and I didn't, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't even really try that hard to try to figure it out until today. So, um, I know that I was promising you every Sunday I was going to give you an update and then I just went MIA again. So I just wanted to apologize that I'm here and I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal. I live in British Columbia. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. I need to show you how beautiful it is. We got some, oh, I guess I got my camera on some sort of blurred out in the background. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's beautiful outside. Spring is coming. I'm feeling good. And, um, <clears throat> anyways, I love to come on here and just share true raw feelings of somebody who struggles with real life things. Um, for me, I would say my biggest struggle in my life is weight loss. So I like to spend a majority of my time speaking on my struggles and my successes and what I've tried and what I haven't tried. Um, so nine months ago when my, I made my last video, I was on Contrave. I was taking Contrave. Um, I had restarted it after um, my fourth baby. I believe my last video, I was saying that I was down six pounds. Good for me. I put it all back on. Um, what had happened is shortly after my last video, I had to make the call of was Contrave right for me? And I, at the end of the day, no, Contrave wasn't right for me. That's not to say that Contrave isn't right for other people. Um, I found that the, the good thing about Contrave for me was that my food noise really dissipated. So I'm a binge eater. I woke up every day to eat. Um, I lived for food, basically. Um, and so that was the really good thing about Contrave. And I was sad to stop because I knew once I stopped that food noise was gonna start coming back to me. It did. Um, but there was just two side effects that I just could not knock um, that were more con than positive for me to continue to go. Now, there are two symptoms that are very well known in the contrave land. Um, first and foremost, uh, constipation. I've never been really a regular girl, but going weeks on end... Um, and I, I tr I'm on Facebook groups, I have asked questions, I've read the posts, I've tried everything under the sun, and it, it nothing worked for me. So that alone was enough for me to be like, eh, I really don't think I want to go down this route. But the other one that was huge, and it was just the deal breaker and the icing on the cake, was the extreme fatigue. Um, if you're new to my channel, I run a daycare and I am a mother of four. So being continuously tired all day long is, it, I mean, no, it, I can't. Um, so the last day that I was on Contrave, I was actually sitting on my couch. I felt like just very kind of tired and winded. And I, I thought, oh, you know what? I just need to sit down for a minute. And I sat down and my eyes closed. Um, and I had daycare kids running around. And I had my own one-year-old son, not even one at the time, um, cruising around. And I didn't sleep, but like my eyes drifted and I went, whoa. Um, and I knew I, I, I just, I can't. Um, 
it was that bad. I was getting eight hours of sleep, but I was waking up only feeling like I got maybe 20 minutes. Um, and then my school, I'm, I'm in school to become a counselor. Um, I was finding that, uh, my school was suffering because I didn't have the energy to do my assignments. I didn't want to go in my class in the evening time. Um, I definitely didn't have my, the eye strain to be able to sit there and read my textbooks. Um, so it just, at the end of the day, I had to look at the pros and the cons and the cons just outweighed those positives. Um, so Contrave was stopped shortly after that last video that I made. So it's not like you guys missed too much um, in my life. Um, besides, I, or besides the fact that I did get my thyroidectomy in January. So again, if you guys have followed me in the past, you guys have known that I struggled with Graves' disease. I had every symptom under the sun. Um, life was really, really crap because of that. Um, one of the negative things that I did have actually with my Graves disease due to my body was constantly just going, going, going. I did have that extra bit of sure my metabolism is going. So was my hunger. I constantly felt hungry. I constantly felt thirsty. Um, so that was another thing that wasn't benefiting me. I mean, none of my symptoms of Graves benefited me, benefited me, but um, it definitely didn't help in the weight department. So um, I got my thyroidectomy in January. Um, so we're March 26th today. Um, I no longer have those jittery shaking. I no longer have a fast beating heart. Um, I have noticed that I'm definitely not as hungry as I used to be. I would say that I probably am more, I, I am thirsty still, but I do drink water a lot more now than I used to before. It was like a lot of coffee, um, energy drinks, uh, not not enough water um so anywho um that is done i'm i'm starting to move on and adjust to my new lifestyle and life without having a thyroid um so so that's really good um but what have i been doing since no contrary than a thyroidectomy well I went back up to 270 pounds. I don't, um, I was actually down to right before I had my thyroidectomy, I was 255. Um, and then I got my, my thyroidectomy. Um, and I very, very quickly jumped up to 270. Um, so when I talked to my endocrinologist, I told him, I said, hey, listen, like, I don't want to be one of those people that get a thyroidectomy and then they put on a whole bunch of weight and they struggle to lose weight. I don't want to go down this route. Um, I've always been a bigger girl, but I don't want to get any bigger. I want to lose weight. So what can I do? Like, please tell me. Um, he brought up Saxenda. If you've followed my journey before, you know I was on Saxenda. You know that I lost a lot of weight on it, but you also know that I was extremely sick. I threw up every day, all day, being on Saxenda. I tried one week of o Ozempic. That was the same side effects as uh, Saxenda. Definitely didn't want to go down that route again. He talked about Contrave. Again, don't want to go down that route again. Um, and then he talked about a new one that has come to Canada called Mongero. I could have that wrong, but I want to say it's called Mongero. Um, another um, weekly injection for weight loss. He had suggested that it is um, more effective than Saxenda and Ozempic. Um, but did tell me that, you know, there's probably a good chance that you're going to have the same side effects as Saxenda and Ozempic. Um, and so anyways, I have, 
I do have a vitamin D deficiency since I've had my thyroidectomy. So he said, you know what, let's let's get the vitamin D under control. I got an appointment with him on uh, April 12th. He said, once you thought, if your numbers are good, let's talk weight loss. Okay. So I got off the phone with him and I just felt so uneasy. I'm like, I don't want to have to put Contra, Saxenda, Ozempic, any of these things into my body. So what can I do? So I thought about what has worked for me in the past. What can I see being long term? Um, I, I'm in the counseling um, schooling program right now. I've done a lot of self discovery. I've had a lot of self growth. Um, I've thought about where I am now. What do I see in five years? What do I see in 10 years? Um, and it's not a big girl. I have always been a big girl. I've always had that a food problem. Um, but something that has really, really negatively impacted me was I'm a mother of four, but my three girls I have watched go down the slide at the parks with my husband. I well, I just sat on the sidelines. Um, I ha see my husband who's much smaller and outdoorsy than me, um, but constantly wanting to do things and talks about going on hikes. And I'm like, yeah, hell no, I ain't doing that. I'll die. Um, but deep down inside, when I started thinking about like, what do I see for myself? I have another chance. I have a one-year-old son who hasn't had an opportunity really to get to the park yet and I want to be the person that's going down the slide with him and I want to be the person that is encouraging family outings and I want to be the person encouraging hiking and doing all these fun things and I've never been at that point in my life where I sat down and I I thought about it and I weighed everything out of my head and I'm like, I'm ready. And I know you guys who followed me a million times before have heard me say I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, but I was ready and also trying to use like extreme weight loss medications that did not make me feel good. Um, so yeah, sure, I was losing weight, but it wasn't a long-term sustainable solution for me. So at the end of the day, I sat there and I went, you know what? Keto was it for me. Keto took away the food noise for me because I wasn't sitting there binging on sugar all the time. When you're sitting there and you're taking a granola bar for breakfast and a fruit snack for lunch, your body's like got that sugar and then you're crashing and you need more sugar. And that was like my ev Every single day dilemma. So with keto, when I'm in ketosis, that just doesn't happen. The every day that I'm going without sugar is like just, it's not, I don't want it. I don't crave it. I know that being on keto, I have flexibility. I don't technically need to be keto but low carb, um, feeling, it, it just, it was so good for me. Um, and I've made videos before on my channel about me being on keto. So you guys can definitely follow, look back on my videos there as well. But that's what I ultimately decided to do. Um, now that brings me to what else am I doing? So I combined my gym membership with doing keto. I'll say low carb. Um, I try, I use my fitness pal. I try to stick in about 20 net carbs. But if I go over that, if I decide to go to, let's say I was just on holidays on the weekend and I didn't use my fitness pal. I didn't log any of my food. I was on holidays. Um, and I'm giving myself that luxury. 
um, and adapt like flexibility to be able to do so. However, I do have another product that I am currently using to help keep my body running on ketones. Um, so that brings me to my next um, topic. And that is drinkable ketones. I don't know if I'm allowed to show uh, on YouTube. I'm not quite sure of the stipulations on there and um, whatnot. But anyways, we'll see. I started following a girl on uh, Facebook. Um, she had gone through something tragic and her reels somehow popped up on my Facebook and uh, I was watching, her, lis I was listening to her very tragic story. Uh, and my heart felt for her. She's a mom of four. I'm a mom of four. And I was like, oh. And at the end of her video, she started saying, I'm, I'm drinking my ketones. It's the only thing that's going to get me through the day. And um, I ended up following her. And she was posting all the time. Not trying to sell the product, but just talking about, I, I'm going to drink my ketones. I feel really good, la da 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 um, And eventually it just sparked my interest because I, I went to her Facebook page and I seen that she had lost 60 pounds drinking ketones. So I'm like, okay, well, he, I'm, I'm doing keto like this is kind of in my line of what I'm I'm doing I'm kind of intrigued so I reached out to her and I said hey like can you tell me about these ketone drinks that you're drinking like um I do the keto diet um I feel really good doing it but I'm just I'm like just super interested in in what you're you're taking so she told me that she's taking she sells prove it um again my camera's got like the portrait mode on here but um these are um these are pure therapeutic ketones um <clears throat> they are keto they're gluten free they're dairy free um they are absolutely amazing. Um, the, the thing about Pruvit Ketones is it puts your body in a state of ketosis within 30 to 60 minutes without being on a strict keto diet. And... This is, um, to me, that was like, oh, okay. So I started doing research and you'll, you'll find online. There's always like people that are going to bash an MLM business, um, and, and whatnot. And, uh, or say that, you know, it, there's no such thing as, um, drinking ketones. Like that's what your body has to do naturally. La da 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 da. Um, so this box right here, I will get more into these, but this box that I have currently right here is called the fan favorites. This is the box that I started with because, um, it is 10 flavors, um, of the top flavors. Um, so I thought, well, you know what, this is probably really good to start because I can, uh, try a flavor uh, or try 10 of the top flavors and see which ones that I like. And then um, if I notice that they work for me, cool. I'll pick the ones that I like out and then I'll just buy, like, continue buying those. Um, so how this, like, this would be considered um, your 10-day challenge drink. So upon awakening, you drink one of these charged. So these come in charged, which is caffeinated, and uncharged, um, which is uncaffeinated. Um, you can buy any flavor in caffeinated or uncaffeinated if you're sensitive to caffeine. Um, the caffeinated is about equivalent to um, one cup of coffee. So um, if, you, if you're not overly... Um, if you're not 
um, what's the word I'm looking for, sensitive, then, then you should be fine. Um, so anyways, it says upon wakening, you'll drink one caffeinated for lunch, aim for a low carb meal in mid afternoon. So about three ish or before you go to the gym, um, drink another one caffeine free dinner, another low carb meal if you're hungry. Um, and so after day 10, drink ketones, um, daily and reboot monthly. We can get into the whole reboot on another video, but basically I bought this box and every flavor was so good. I could not decide which one I liked more. So I just continuously just keep buying the fan favorites. Um, and every day I'm just like, you know what, today I feel like having Maui punch. Um, today I feel like having a uh, raspberry lemonade. Today I feel like having, let's see, what other one? Heart tart, which is like a sweet tart. Um, and you just mix them with water, shake it up, um, and drink. This one is like my new favorite. So this one is new on the market. This one is lemon cello. Um, I've seen like a ton of um recipes online too. Like you don't just have to drink it with just like some water and shake it. I've seen recipes using like um oat milk or almond milk and blending it um with with that with a bunch of ice making a frosty drink. Like I've seen there like there is different recipes you can make with this, but what I will say is that the Prove It Keto OS is the only one that is like this is this is all made natural. It is made with the Betty. I I hope I get this right. Um, beta hydroxy butyrate. Um, which is what your body naturally makes when it's naturally in ketosis nutritionally. Um, you're not going to drink one of these and just pee out the ketones. It is going to go into your blood system. Um, so I have started these now for almost a month and I'm down 15 pounds. Um, I loved it so much. I actually joined up as a promoter and I'm not here to sell you guys on anything. I'm not here to, I'm not, I won't put on my website. Um, but I was 270 this morning when I stepped on the scale, I was back down to 255. So, um, all you need to do is drink one or two of these a day. There is um, other products as well. Um, I, what I just love about it is I personally want to follow low carb slash keto, whatever it is, um, because personally it makes me feel better. Personally, it cuts out those sugar cravings. Um, I found when I had my first drink of one of these, I immediately was not hungry and I thought that was the weirdest thing. Um, but um, it gives you all the benefits of ketosis without being on a strict keto diet. But I'm choosing to be on the low carb diet. Um, I, I, I think that um, if you were just sitting there eating McDonald's and crap all day and then trying to t and taking these, like, sure, it might work, but it won't be as effective. It does say on right on the box to eat a low carb meal when you're eating these. Um, so that's what I have been doing. But the flavor of these is not chalky. It's it's they taste amazing. Like it's seriously like I can't wait for my next one when I open one of these and I have it in the morning I'm like uh, okay is it like three o'clock yet like I just I can't wait to have my other one but my brain fog is gone I feel rejuvenated I feel like I'm getting a wonderful sleep at night like um and and I just went on holidays and I did not follow keto 
and I didn't follow low carb, but I did take these. My body was in ketosis and I wonder, I, I'll see if I can pull up on my phone. Um, da, 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 just give me one second. Um, Cause when I first bought these, so this was at 11.04. I'll see if you can see that. So not really, I was kind of in ketosis, but it's more so, it's kind of hard to tell from the camera. It was just in between the brown and like the tiniest little hint of pink. Um, and literally one hour later at 12.04, that is what I was at. Again, really kind of hard to see. But I was most definitely at a medium. I was definitely, uh, the, it goes negative, traces 0 0.5, small 1.5, medium 4. I was definitely in a 4. My body was burning those unhealthy fats. Um, and it, it was amazing. And I kept every hour, I just kept peeing and peeing and trying, drinking my water and seeing like, you know, is this going to go away? Uh, you guys, these things are amazing. 15 pounds down since starting these drinks. Um, I haven't been to the gym in almost two weeks because, um, I have come down with some sort of flu. But in the last like week, week and a half, I'm down another, I'm down five. So that's solely on, like I said, I was on holidays. I haven't gone to the gym. That is on these drinks. I'm saying that these have helped me immensely. Um, and I'm not, I don't have my head in the toilet. I, um, I'm not falling asleep on the couch. I got a burst of energy. Like I want to go out walking, um, my daycare kids are sleeping right now and I'm just like feeling like it's a beautiful day and my husband took all my kids out to the lake to go fly the drone and I'm feeling so sad that I'm stuck in the house right now and typically I would be like oh thank god he's stuck in the kids I could just relax and kick my feet up and watch my murder shows I'm telling you this has been a game changer for me um I'm so glad I joined this company. I mean, like I just joined. I'm not even really making a profit right now. All I'm doing is sharing my story on it. Um, but amazing. And I'm going to continue doing keto. So before I end this video, just a recap. I am no longer taking Contrave. I'm no putting, no longer putting those injections into my body. Did not make me feel good. None of those made me feel good. I'm back on keto slash low carb. I'm incorporating the gym into my routine and I am using drinkable ketones to help me um, just give me that extra boost and to make me feel like, you know, if I do have a slip up or if I go on holidays or if I get the flu and I can't go to the gym for two weeks, I have something here to back me up. So... Anyways, I'm going to like end this video now. I will, I'm not making any promises on when I'm making my next one because I don't want to um, fail you guys again or let you down. But yeah, it was just my phone was being crap, uh, logged me out and that's why you haven't seen me. But there would have been nothing for me to update you on. I just wasn't in the mind state um, to truly want to lose weight. I wanted to lose weight, but I wasn't in the mind state to actually do it. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go enjoy your beautiful, I hope it's beautiful. It's beautiful out here today. Enjoy your beautiful Tuesday and I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.